Howdy! Today we are going to be doing a player review video uh, on a fellow clanmate of mine um, who we featured once or twice here on the channel before, being Hello Everybody 5. Now I do want to make note uh, that now on my Discord uh, server, uh, Flimsy Lunch Tray, which the link is down in the, the description if you want to join the FLT community, uh, that I have a text channel now set up uh, for player review videos. So if you have a player uh, or you have a video, Wiles we play file that you would like uh, perhaps maybe to be critiqued, um, to showcase uh, your battle or something else, um, you can do so uh, by uploading that Wiles replay file to uh, that text channel as well as the post battle results, screenshots of that, and then also tell me um, what you are wanting specifically critiqued or showcasing in that battle. Um, I can't guarantee that I will um, showcase that video, uh, your video your submission here on YouTube, um, but I'll try if I'm able to as there's other content I like to pump out as well. Um, so um, this is a video that Hello Everybody 5 sent me in, uh, sent in to me, uh, where he is in a ranked uh, battles, as you can see, with uh, seven ships. Um, and he's in the Tier 9 uh, premium battleship, the Pomeran, a German battleship uh, with 12 guns, uh, torpedoes, and uh, secondaries. So this uh, is a brawling battleship to the core. And very strong, uh, particularly when it comes to ranked uh, battles. Um, I'd probably give the ship a roll if I had it, but I'm saving up coal for a commander, then maybe that will be the ship um, I get next. Um, so something to kind of notate on Neighbors is that if you are in uh, this battle, uh, in this match, uh, or map, that's actually what I'm wanting to say, um, is that B and C is generally the two caps you want to go for. Um, because the problem is if your team pushes A, B, and the enemy team pushes C, and as you come up from A um, to maybe you're still contesting Bravo or you want to push into Charlie, is that the enemy team is able to utilize the islands very well, uh, particularly the one that's in Bravo cap, um, and they can just uh, fire over the island while maybe a destroyer spots you, um, and you're really at a disadvantage um, if your main team uh, pushes from A. Now what Hello Everybody's team has done, there's uh, the Mogami down to the south, and he's going to go cap A for free. So it's never a bad idea to send one ship down, um, just to cap, and then immediately return back up to the backside um, of the Bravo cap. Because it's really easy to cap um, B in a destroyer for either the enemy team uh, or um, Hello Everybody's team in the sense that they can use that island as cover. Um, so you see where the enemy destroyer is, but then you see uh, where the destroyer on Hello Everybody's team is positioned. You know, he could be back behind the corner of the island in like E6. Um, keeps him safe out of torpedoes uh, uh, danger. So nevertheless, um, Hello Everybody is moving uh, to the north here um, and going to um, kind of, he's going to kind of kite along um, to the outside here. He's going to put this island between him and himself, um, getting some shots off. Now he is showing broadside to several battleships, so this could um, potentially chunk. They could potentially chunk it for damage um, if they are uh, aware and will take advantage of that. And it looks like maybe that Alsace, uh, the Alsace might get a little bit of damage in here on him. Yeah, I think it's a chunks him there. So that's the one of the challenges is when you're pushing in uh, here on neighbors, is that generally either you kind of bow in. And then you sit on the opposite side um, of the C cap, um, or you go a little farther up and around, kind of what Hello Everybody is now starting to do, um, and then flank in. Um, so yes, so you can see that A has been taken for free. Um, Hello Everybody is looking at this Cleveland here and hoping to get some damage in. And what he's going to be doing here shortly is showcasing um, brawling um, in uh, the Palmer. Now, he does have a 13-point commander. Um, he's he focused most of those 10 points on uh, getting the full secondary build. So um, long-range second batteries and improved second, uh, secondary battery aiming. Um, so he does that have that for 10 points. Um, then he, I think, for his 13th, the last three points, he's on basics of survivability. Something like that. 
Um, so yes, yeah, so he's going to be um, swinging in around here. And you can kind of see he's um, distant from the fight now, um, which as I was watching this, I was kind of wondering what he was doing. I wasn't sure if he was intentionally doing this or was just kind of finds himself kiting away and, oh, he get back into the battle. But I'm going to assume he's doing this on purpose because he's going to be flanking now. And this is also what he's doing right now is really good to do in Georgia too. Um, you get to uh, showcase your speed because now Hello Everybody's going to be out of the fight for about a minute as he repositions the ground on the side of this island. Um, and from the t last time he shot his previous salvo. But he's going to be able to um, more effectively support his team um, from the side here um, by flanking. So he's done well. He's already got Hydro Q6 Search going up just in case there's any torpedoes that might uh, catch him off guard and coming around side the island. Um, so yeah, so it looks like, yeah, so he's focusing in here again on the Cleveland and he's going to just basically island hop here, which is really more what you have to do um, with brawling these days is I uh, really utilize the islands um, and being on move up uh, from island to island because now uh, the Bismarck uh, and the Alsace, uh, neither of them um, have a firing solution on him. So he's taking two battleships out of the equation. I'm just being able to work around and helping support his teammates <laughs> in uh, the cap capture point C and just punishing this Cleveland. So I think that will finish off the Cleveland here. Now what's funny is watch where the Bismarck and the Alsace are looking at with their main turrets because they know, well if they were paying attention to the map, they would know that Hello Everybody is coming around this way. Um, <laughs> but look at the Bismarck scans when he comes around. Nope. <laughs> Not even prepared. Now what's funnier too is watching this Bismarck when he zooms in, there's all of a sudden the Bismarck points his gun to the space uh, way up high, so I don't know what in the world he's even doing. Um, but now hello everybody is going to angle in, and neither is Alsace's main guns looking at him. So he's dumped torpedoes off in the Alsace. Um, and then now he's going to turn in and he's going to dump torpedoes off onto the Bismarck. Now, right now he's got two fires burning on his superstructure and his torpedo tubes have been knocked out. And I guess sort of a critique I have, and this is just general because I have to be mindful of it as well, is that when you're a brawling battleship and you can see, you can see that, watch how his gray health bar of what health he could heal was uh, slowly decreasing, is usually when you see that is to instantly hit that uh, repair party. Um, so then you get it up as soon as possible. Since he's in this brawling situation, you want to have it on hand as uh, soon as possible. So he's using his repair party and putting out two fires, which that's good. You want to save at least that repair, uh, the damage, not the repair party, uh, damage control party uh, for usually once you have two fires on you. But the Alsace's uh, secondaries are just pummeling him and now he's got three fires. And it was at this point I noticed he didn't actually have fire prevention since he's got two fires burning on his superstructure. Or if you have fire prevention, you only have one fire that burns on your superstructure. Um, so what is also interesting here is what the Alsace uh, decides to do here. Is that he's not focusing on shooting Hello Everybody. He sh he's focusing on shooting the uh, Palo Emilio, which is roughly 10 kilometers away. Versus shooting the, the enemy battleship that's, um, you know, 2.4 kilometers away. Now on that... Um, yeah, so that's 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 quite funny. And then the fact is, is that not only does the Alsace do that once, but he does it twice. <laughs> and if the Alsace had been firing on, on Hello Everybody sooner, um, he actually would have killed him because of how much, uh, you see how much health that Hello Everybody uses from this, the fires alone and the secondaries pummeling him. Um, and that's kind of the value of having fire prevention um, is that it helps you brawl um, and tank uh, better and last in the battle longer. So that's a pretty uh, quick battle. Um, so he's going to end with 155,000 damage uh, with four destroyed, uh, close quarters, dreadnought, fireproof, and high caliber. I uh, was setting 10 fires and 290 secondary hits um, and pretty good on the XP and free XP there as well. He's going to end with a base XP score of 1,000 I can't tell if it's 977 or 677 from my screen. I think it's 977. Uh, being second on the team with the Missouri in the first place. 
and then going to the detailed report and get a little more overview here of what even his potential damage was, which was over 1.2 million. Um, and he just punishing that Alsace and the Bismarck and definitely that Cleveland as well. So he was showcasing the, you know, what it looks like to flank in a brawling battleship, which ultimately helped uh, lead to victory much more sooner um, in this battle and then helping his team out. So really well played because brawling battleships, when especially you don't have carriers, you can really do well um, in flank, uh, flanking like that because uh, carriers tend to uh, shut that down. Um, so yeah. So, um, it's a really good battle. He did really well in performing here in the Palmern. Um, you know, that's that's the strength of the Palmern is having those, um, not only having really good secondaries and those um, main battery guns, but also having the torpedoes is, is that other brawling ships that really don't have torpedoes, um, they're forced really to kite away uh, when the Palmern approaches because this torpedo is having a six kilometer range. So if I'm something like the Georgia um, and I'm brawling against a Palmern, I won't close within that six kilometer range. I'll stay outside of it, even if that means I have to turn around um, because it really helps to be mindful of that rather than just shooting yourself in the foot. Because you can see that the Bismarck um, definitely wasn't prepared for hello everybody come around that corner. And neither was the Alsace um, really uh, prepared to slap him as well when he came around that island. So a bit of a missed opportunity uh, there on the two enemy teams parts. But it's interesting to me how he actually survived the very end there against Alsace and Alsace refused to shoot him. <laughs> he's, uh, Hello Everybody sent me a video in a while back where he's in ranked in the Akazuki and it was the Baltimore that was chasing him down. Um, and the Baltimore was firing AP at him, <laughs> which was hardly doing any damage, but he was hard not doing really any damage because the Baltimore player couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. So it's kind of amusing how Hell Everybody continues to be in these certain situations where he shouldn't be dead, <laughs> but he lives. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed uh, this battle um, player review. Again, if you have uh, a Wiles replay file that you'd like uh, to send in for me to look at, critique, uh, or showcase, or something else, uh, let me know. And just uh, drop that in the Discord um, player review submissions uh, text channel. Um, as it's underneath my general uh, channels uh, in the Discord server of Flimsy Lunch Tray. So if you liked today's battle, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you already subscribed, thanks so much, and we'll catch you next time. Take care.